I'm Brianna Orger, and today we'll be teaching you how to work the switcher. You may be asking, what is the switcher? What does it do? And why is it important? The switcher is very important because it controls the show. If the switcher screws up, it's going live. Now, we will be teaching you about the monitor wall and what the switcher is responsible for. This is the monitor wall. It shows you the everything that everyone has to offer. There is four cameras, two graphics, or called inscri Inscriber 2, and the server. It also shows you the preview and the program. The switcher is responsible for playing and not screwing up. They are the last line of defense. They follow the cue of the director and put everything to air. Now, let's get to the switcher. First off, you must reset the switcher. This is an important thing in case it has been changed or settings that you shouldn't need. We're going to start with setting our keys. To set your keys, you have to make sure you have your desired keyer selected. When you have it selected, you move over to your key bus and select the graphic you would like to assign. You would do the same for all the other desired keys. Just make sure to have the correct keyer selected. Now there's three different buses. There's the key bus, the program bus, and the preview bus. The key bus is used for setting your keys and you set it and forget it. The program bus is the bus you use to hit the keys when going live to air. The preview bus, you press the button and it comes up in the preview telling you what you have ready but it won't be live. Now, we go on to the things that will make your show look great. The T bar transitions the preview to the program. Just take the bar from one position to the next. Then there's the cut button, where you'd use to cut the preview to the program. Now let's work on some wipes. To do a transition wipe, select the wipe button. You will notice how your trusty Ross monitor has now changed. Select your wipe and use your T-bar to perform your wipe at your desired speed. Then there's the dissolve, which is just like the T-bar, but is automatically set for you. Now, this may seem a little bit confusing, but it isn't. Just think of your preview screen like Photoshop. You just are building layers. To bring in your graphic, you just press the graphic you would like on the T-bar located in the transition section of your control board. You will see your graphic in the preview screen. To bring those graphics live, you simply press the transition button located on your board. But wait, I wanted the graphic to come up on a different background. Well, that's easy. Simply select the camera you would like to view. Then select both the background and the graphic you would like from the bar. Ready to bring it live? Let's try the T-bar transition. And if you want to bring everything to black, press black. Now you know everything there is to make a really simple TV show. Good luck and keep switching.